These palms may look similar, but they're actually two different species. The two palms we have at Lord Howe Island, they evolved on this tiny island while they're living next to each other. The first proof in the world of sympatric speciation. That means they evolved from a common ancestor despite a lack of geographic separation, a process so rare even Darwin considered it unlikely. We found something totally different from what we, we believed was the case for species diversity. So I imagine um, a few humans on an island for one million years. Nobody would think that they would evolve into different species, but actually plants do. This sandy soil now the soil here is helping scientists understand why. A 20-year study of Kentia palms suggests fungi has been a major influence on their evolution. So what we, we are discovering is that the relationship between these fungi and the plants is very intimate. And actually the plant and the fungi can, can make like specific partnership that allows them to sort of survive stressful condition. And Lord Howe Island's isolation from human contact until the late 1700s is providing the ideal scientific control. Lord Howe Island is like a, a natural laboratory for evolutionary biology. So this is the controlled environment of the experiment. One tray will have mycorrhizae and one won't from the same area. What we're trying to achieve here is to see the differences in growing um, or the germination rate or the size of what's being grown. This may all sound like something out of a high school biology class, but those involved in the project say it has real world applications to help people and the planet adapt in the face of climate change. So the more we understand about these uh, processes, then the better we are able uh, are to conserve the environments that are left and potentially solve a biological mystery millions of years in the making.